Some of Eastern Africa's regional heads and international donors meeting to plan a joint strategy for the Somalia refugee crisis. The countries host about 900,000 refugees. There are more than a million more people displaced inside Somalia, with the number expected to rise because of an ongoing drought. The leaders resolved to cooperate more in order to bring stability and resolve the humanitarian situation so that refugees can voluntarily go back home. Tragically, some have lived in the camps for three generations, all because the environment was not conducive enough in Somalia for them to return. The current drought and the looming famine pose yet another challenge to voluntarily to return. We must not leave stone and turn it to avert another famine in Somalia. Resolutions made here were not new, but all agree that international funding has been a big problem. It is crucial that the lukewarm support and lack of focused attention on Somalia that we have witnessed in the last two decades becomes a matter of the past. The solutions that will emerge from our deliberations today do not belong to EGAD alone. They should be owned fully and supported by the entire international community. At the Dadaab refugee camp, hundreds of refugees are leaving for Somalia almost every day. On this day, it's around 600. We are going to try our luck because the country has new leadership now. That's our hope. There's nowhere better than home. I love my country. The camp now has just about 260,000 refugees. Many who came in the 90s or those who were born here want to stay. They say they don't feel welcome anymore. They still get their food supplies and cash transfers from the World Food Programme. The money helps them buy fresh vegetables, meats and fruits. But WFP has reduced rations by half because of budget cuts. And refugees here say what they get now is not enough. Back at the reception centre, they start their journey back to a country where parts are still unsafe. Some to join many other Somalis who are internally displaced and a drought that has killed people and their livestock. But they tell us it's home. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Dadaab, Northeastern Kenya.